Hey guys, Shane Stars with DrawerMotorX.com. Today I'm going to be doing a quick overview, a quick review of the Sandbox application by Pixel Inc. This is kind of like Minecraft versus Windows Paint. Uh, basically, it just allows you to be very, very creative. If you've been looking for a new time waster game, maybe you're just done with Flappy Bird, it's getting annoying to you, this is an awesome time waster application. Uh, we'll go ahead and get into the review. So basically, I'll open up the app and you can kind of see what's going on here. It's kind of like Minecraft and Paint put together. So Minecraft and not as extravagant as Minecraft. And then you'll also notice the pixel format here. So uh, basically, you can create a world pixel by pixel. So it kind of is reminiscent of the 8-bit games from the arcades uh, in the 80s, 90s, or whatever. Similar to the old Atari-style graphics that... Uh, some of you may remember, I wasn't around in those days. I've heard of the Atari, but I've never played one. Uh, but basically, this is one that my daughter had begun earlier. Uh, but you can see, I'm just building simply with sand here, but there are other elements that I can build with. The more you build in the story mode, the more elements that you unlock. There are 150 elements. So this world is very interactive, uh, and it kind of does things on its own, which is pretty cool. I just put some water on the earth here, and you can see that plants are beginning to grow. I've turned on the atmosphere. Uh, so you can see that the water is beginning to evaporate and it's turning into clouds here. If the water evaporates enough, these clouds will become storm clouds and it will rain, which is uh, pretty awesome. Um, but you guys kind of get the picture here. There's also a story mode, so we'll go into the story mode. And it is free to download and it is free to play. Uh, you can play in the free demo mode. There's also a campaign mode. You get the initial story for free and then each story after that is $1.99. Now these story modes uh, can become pretty addictive. Uh, basically it just walks you through what it wants you to do. So you'll you get several different goals here and you won't pass the level until you've completed your goals. You guys kind of get the picture here. You can kind of go through and complete goals and once you've completed all your goals you'll go to the next level and move forward. But one of the best parts of this game is basically if you're artistic it just gives you a new way to draw and like I said you can draw pixel by pixel there are over 150 elements to choose from the possibilities are endless uh, once you've created your art you can take a snapshot of it and share it and then you can view the gallery and see what other people have come up with some people are incredibly talented at the pixel art portion of the game so in the game itself as you build and as you complete uh, missions in the campaign mode you do get mana uh, which is what you use to buy elements and uh, uh, buy other portions of the game there is a quest each day that allows you to build up your mana account as well so that way you're able to uh, buy even more elements and to make the game even funner okay so other than elements uh, there are all kinds of different things here that you can choose from you can add people to your design you can add plant life uh, there's even options in here for electronics that can be added in. Uh, you can make your own circuit board. Um, as you guys saw earlier in the gallery, there was a circuit board with Tetris on it, uh, which is pretty neat. So you can kind of like make your own neon lights. And there's just all kinds of stuff. Uh, the possibilities are endless in this game. As that has been my quick review of the Sandbox game application. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.